Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I'm really excited about today's episode. I've had a few questions about how to prepare for the technical interview. So usually the technical interview is after you know the meet and greet with HR. You met the hiring manager, you have done your due diligence, you learned about the company, the product, you have met with many people on the team. And I, that's the biggest recommendation I have is after you meet the hiring manager and have permission to meet their teammates, I would 100% try to get in front of the account managers and the other clinical specialists. The hiring manager is going to make the final decision or possibly the area director, but the support from clinical specialists and the sales reps who have their voice in their ear is huge. I cannot convey how important it is to build support from the whole team so they cannot not hire you. So today I'm going to talk about the technical interview and we're going to focus on pacing. It's something I'm familiar with and, and can prepare an interview and video for that. But many medical device companies and products might have this technical interview. And this isn't so much about the situational or tell us about your resume and story or your story of success. This is going to be the nitty and gritty. It could be with the hiring manager or it could be with a dedicated person that is the field clinical expert. And they're going to test you on the implant the device and you know the whole concepts around it i don't want you to be scared i know a lot of people get worried in in this more technical format but what they're looking for depending on your background will be can you absorb complex information communicate that effectively and pick up some of the basic concepts I don't think the interview should be different for each person, but I, I do believe it is. So for example, if you have no medical device experience or hospital or cath lab experience, the technical interview is going to be a little bit different. If you are coming from the cath lab and you've been in this procedure, I, I do think the technical interview is going to be a little bit more specific on you know what wires or what access you're getting, what sheaths, just to test your knowledge. I do think you know, it could be argued that it could be standardized, but I, I do think depending on what experience you're bringing to the table will help guide this technical interview. And, and like I said, not every hiring manager is following this format, but I do think it's pretty common, be it with a hiring manager, a committee of people, or a, a clinical engineer. I do have my dog running around, so if you hear the little pitter pitter patter of him running around, I'll try to edit that out. So how do you prepare for the technical interview? You have done really well in the first interviews, you have charmed them, you have conveyed your story, you have shared your why, and you really shared who you are and how you can make an impact in this role. There's a couple ways to prepare, and I'm gonna show you my screen on my laptop while speaking to show you what I would do. And there's, there's, there's a few things. So we're gonna prepare for the pacing role, clinical specialist, which I have talked about a lot. If you if you have not heard about that role, I do have an awesome video on my YouTube. I'll link it below. Day in the life of a Medtronic medical device CRDM pacemaker clinical specialist. In this video, I talk about what the day in the life is. I absolutely love this role because this was my foray into medical device with Medtronic, but there's also a lot of great companies, Boston Scientific, Abbott, and Biotronic. All ways to get in, and they do hire people with bioengineers, nurses, you know, I want to say this is an entry-level role, but I do see a lot of undergrads coming out, demonstrating their hunger, and getting into this role. So first, I have my video, Day in the Live, just to pique your interest. The biggest thing is these videos are just to provide exposure. I or someone else can't convince you that these are the best roles. That's something you have to do on your own. If I'm convincing you that Medtronic or a company is the best or this role is the best, it can set you up for failure or miss expectations. So really do your due diligence when you look at companies in these roles and talk to a lot of people and you decide for yourself if it's something that you would be passionate about and see yourself excelling in. The last thing that you want and the company wants is you not being happy after six to 12 months of training and then all of a sudden deciding to leave and finding another role. That's not fair to you and it's not fair to the company. And it's not fair to the patients. So first, you're preparing for the technical interview. I have this video, which you should watch before you're this deep in the interview process, but this just talks about the day in the life. This video is great. You could call people and try to get an idea of what their day in the life is like and if it's a good fit. Now, let's prepare for the technical interview. The big strategics, so Abbott, Medtronic, Boston Scientific, have fantastic online modules to educate on all the business units and devices they have, right? So Medtronic has neuro, 
robotics, cardiac is huge. And within cardiac, you have coronary stent for heart attacks or STEMIs. You have pacemakers for slow heart rates, ICDs for fast, deadly heart rates. You have structural heart, which is TAVR, a minimally invasive heart valve. You can learn about every single procedure and therapy. But today, since we're talking about the technical interview for cardiac pacing, we're going to look at the cardiac rhythm module page. And I'm on it. I logged in. You can create an account. There's a lot of information, but let's see what we can find. So we are interested in the pacing therapy devices, and we want to look at, hmm, these are all a little bit advanced, right? Conduction system, his bundle, micro are all really awesome therapies that are more recent than the traditional transvenous pacemaker. So let's see what information we see here on Medtronic Academy. There's a couple learning plans. Hmm, that sounds good. Pacemaker feature and diagnostics. I think we're getting somewhere. Pacemaker follow-up. These say seven and a half hours, so that's quite a bit of information. So let's see what else there is. Basic pacing concepts and follow-up. Basic pacing overview. Medtronic device features comparisons. I think we're on a really good page to prepare for the technical interview. I would enroll in the pacemaker features and diagnostics learning plan. I would also look at the clinical evidence algorithms and learn more about the specific product devices and leads, which are the wires that go to the heart. This page breaks down everything you need to do to prepare for a technical interview for one of the pacemaker divisions at any of the companies. What you're going to do is you're going to get a broad conceptual understanding of what pacing is. So why does a pacemaker go in? Why would you use a dual lead pacemaker versus a single lead pacemaker, right? These, this, as you explore, will answer all that. Then you could get into the more advanced concepts of ICD, defibrillators, which are similar to pacemaker, but they have a totally different function. And those can be single or dual lead. And there's also CRT, cardiac resynchronization therapy for heart failure patients that could be a pacemaker or an ICD. What I'm saying might be overwhelming, but take the first step. We don't need to be 100% knowledgeable of this field, and no one has that expectation. Your hiring manager is not going to be like, Matt, I told you you have a technical interview in a week. My expectation is that you're going to perform this interview at a principal clinical specialist level. What I think what the hiring manager is looking for is, what does Matt do to prepare for this interview, and what resources does he go after? Seeing that I went on this website and tried to gobble up as much information as I can and spend time with it so I could succinctly convey it in the technical interview shows a lot to the hiring manager. And that's what I did when I first applied to Medtronic is I dove in to Medtronic Academy and went through all of these plans. And I'll, I'll show you. We'll, we'll click and see what we see as it loads. So here, I mean... This is everything you need. This is going to talk about everything, and it gets really technical, talking about clinical data. So from a conceptual standpoint, understanding what the device are for and what the device does is fantastic. If you want to take it to the next level, you could look at, here it's talking about a very specific pacemaker function called reactive ATP, where you try to break an arrhythmia. But you could go online to Google, and we could type in pacemaker clinical data. And we could see what we can find. Pacemakers are pretty set. There's there's not so much new data coming around the old pacemakers. A lot of it will be looking at you know trans um, his bundle or bundle pacing, which is a little bit kind of a ne uh, newer concept. But just understanding the reasons or the data behind and pacemakers, a big thing would be you know understanding like I said what patients get it. So complete heart block where you have no heart rate except for an escape rhythm or the different Winkebach or different heart rates, slow heart rates that present. So understanding that, understanding what pacemakers do, understanding, like I said, some of the basic data behind it. So how else can we prepare for the technical interview? I just want to take a break for a second. I want to thank everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I don't have a teleprompter, so I try to go zero to the end right off the bat. I don't script. I should. I should practice. So I appreciate everyone bearing with me. I got an awesome Christmas tree in the back. You know, I was watching this 3D color thing. A little distracting, but I like it. So let's wrap this up. We will use Medtronic 
academy to understand the devices themselves and the big conceptual topics. How can we further elevate ourselves to prepare and differentiate in these technical interviews? What I recommend is buying or renting or finding a used book of rapid interpretation of EKGs by Dubin, Dale Dubin. To get it for free, I would message a clinical specialist that always ha already has a role and see if they have an extra or an old one that they don't need anymore because after you read through this, you don't ever really return. But this is going to help you interpret rhythms, so which is normal. Our heart rate goes up when we exercise to meet our body's needs. But there's a lot of different heart rates that doctors can interpret and label. But from a pacemaker clinical specialist role, you need to be able to identify the rhythm similar to a physician or EMT or nurse. This book is fantastic. And then what I would do is go to Quizlet or the different online modules on Google that would show you a heart rhythm, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, atrial fibrillation, normal sinus rhythm, sinus bradycardia. And you quickly identify from the EKG what rhythm it is. If you can do that, you're already one step ahead. I talked a little bit about the pacemaker surgery in some of my videos, but this video is fantastic because this is, so understanding rhythms is great for clinic and working with the devices. Then you need to understand the rhythms when you're in the cath lab so you know why the device is going in and what the watch outs are. I don't want to get too technical because this wouldn't be for the interview, but if you don't know the rhythm or possible watch outs, you're not adding value to the physician, the patient, and the team. This video will help you with the second part of the clinical, the second major component of the clinical specialist role, which is supporting procedures, this will give you a really good overview of the pacemaker implant. That's kind of it. I talked about this amazing role. I'm not here to convince you. I talked about using Medtronic Academy or the different sites to get a broad conceptual understanding of what devices are, why they're used, and a lot of information is on there, technical information that's really good. But how do you further take the step forward? You go to Amazon. I don't, I mean, don't support Amazon. Go to your local bookstore and get rapid interpretation of EKGs. And then do the online modules of that, the test, and just do it over and over until you can quickly identify EKGs. And I also talked about watching a couple of videos on YouTube about the pacemaker procedure. If you do all that, you're going to be prepared to rock the technical interview. Then it's on you, however, you decide to convey this information. You could go in and just communicate. You can create a PowerPoint PDF slide that you could use as a tool to help guide your knowledge or as a presentation to the team. I would ask the hiring manager what the expectation is. Do they want a presentation? Do they just want to have a casual conversation where they ask questions to see what you know? I don't know. Ask the hiring manager. One thing I realized, everyone does it a little bit differently, how they hire someone. So as a good salesperson, ask the question to figure out how to prepare and how for you to be successful. So this wraps up my video on how to prepare for the technical interviews. We really dove into pacing, and I can make other videos for the other procedures. But the, the toolbox I talked about can be applied to the other divisions, right? If you want to do EP mapping and ablation, you find the concepts on that to learn the high umbrella view. And then you can find YouTube videos on the procedure. You can find, for EP especially, you can find... Um, videos on rhythms as well, right? That's all important. So what about neuro? Same thing, Medtronic Academy, learn about neuro. For this particular idea in my head, maybe it's stroke where you're removing clot, right? So Medtronic Academy to learn the big concepts. You could watch a YouTube video of the IR or neurosurgeon team going into the brain to remove a clot. And then maybe for this, you wanna know the arterial anatomy of the brain. Circle of Willis, all the different major vessels where they could go in and remove the clot. That would be really important for a technical interview. And anatomy for cardiac pacing is also really important. I forgot to mention that, but knowing you know, that the heart's four chambers, knowing the different chambers, venous versus arterial, all that would be really important. So don't forget that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, it helps me prepare for future videos. You could comment them, you can find me on LinkedIn, you can email me. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. It's a challenge, but it's a challenge I love doing. My dog Finn is asleep. Usually he's running around, but right now we are fortunate. So please share this. If you're interested in this role and want to learn more, reach out to someone or reach out to me. 
This is Medical Device Matt. Take care. Happy holidays, and we'll, we'll have more content soon.